Well, this is certainly different, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? It can only mean one thing. It's filler time. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. It's Dad. Um, yeah, definitely. This is going to be completely and totally different than anything else we've ever done before. Part of the thing is, you can actually see me. Uh, this is what I look like. Um, you'll probably wish that we hadn't allowed you to see what I look like. Uh, here we are in the headquarters of IBW publications uh due to illnesses timing and everything else insanity and i have not been able to actually get together and record so we've got a little bit of a filler time which we will be spending playing hero quest for well this is actually the amiga uh 500 version of hero quest um i never had an amiga 500 i did have a roommate in college who had one i had the commodore 64 growing up. Um, there's a reason we're not playing that version. It's because, just a second here, oh, got frickety, frack, frack, there we go. It looks like this. Now, while that is fine and dandy, there's some niceties with the Amiga version of the game. Whoop. Wrong screen again. There we go. I'll have to edit that out so you guys don't see my desktop. So here we are, the Amiga version. Uh, released in 1991, this game emulates the board game by the same title. Uh, Milton Bradley, I believe. I could possibly be wrong on that. So, and it does so in quite the... Um, well, it's true to the game in almost every sense of the word. Uh, so we've already got the Barbarian selected. We like him because he uh, he comes with a sword and uh, likes killing people. Uh, I'm also going to select the elf just because uh, you never adventure on your own. And let's go back. We've got an item shop here. We don't have any gold, spells, whatnot. So we'll come over here and we will play. Uh, earth magic or fire magic? Uh, we'll go fire. And come up here to the beginning and play the maze. This will be your final test before you set forth. Be sure to use all the skills that you have been taught. You must attempt to find you, you way out. Several monsters have been placed in the maze. They will try to stop you. So take care. Whoever finds his way out first will be rewarded with 100 gold coins. This may be used to buy equipment for the adventures to come. So, you know, just a second. I understand Mentor. So, what can I say? It's a black screen. So, give you a little history about myself with the Commodore 64. It is a game system and home computer that uh, meant a lot to me growing up. It, uh, uh, it was my first computer, and it filled a lot of time here. Uh, I'm going to assume that's the bad guy there. Uh, and what we do is we click our little two-sided coin that is actually capable of generating up to 12 distinct uh, different scores. So it's a little confusing here. Um, now, you move around using arrows, those arrows, you can search, but that causes you to end your turn, search for doors, open up your treasure, loot box. Um, I'm actually really well versed with the maze, I've played this a couple of times, I, I really like this game. And uh, so we'll go there, and let's see here, I've got three left. So let's continue our uh, march. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, 
yes, the simpler times. And we will search for treasure. Ooh, I found a potion of healing. Excellent. Um, I suppose I should probably name my guy, huh? Let's see here. Weapon in use. Ooh, no, no, I guess I am using my hands. So, no potion taken. I've got no toolkits or anything like that. So, let's go on ahead. No. Oh, that's right. Click the shield over there. And we immediately go to the elf, who, even though he is holding a sword, is not excellent eight. We will actually um, merge him with the barbarian. Uh, move it. Uh, I should. I should name my guys. Shouldn't I? Um. We shall call the barbarian Sponge, because he shall be uh, sponging up as much of the damage as humanly possible. Uh, which means he will sacrifice himself instead of dying. So, once again, we've gone into a room. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's... I... Tuh. Yes, that pixelated mess there is, I believe, an orc. Uh, let's take a look here and figure that out. Yep, he is an orc. And we shall battle him. Ooh. One damage, but he defended. So they get to stand and uh, stare at each other. Excellent. So, let's end the Barbarian's turn and hope that our elf gets something good. Five. Well, that's not going to be good enough. No. Might as well search for treasure while we're here. And a monster stalks up upon you. Excellent. Whoop, we've taken a point of damage. That's, um, not good. Uh, I've got five body points left, so I did survive the attack. And the problem is, we now have to hand over control to, oh, ouch. Oh, that's, I'm going to feel that one in morning. Come on, Sponge. You gotta do better than that. Or else this might be the shortest episode of uh, the Gaming with Dad show, or Dad Quest as it were, since Insanity's not here. Um, well, excellent. I can move eight, but I don't want to move eight because I just want to bash him against... <laughs> I want to bash my fist into... Hey! A point of damage! Excellent! Killed him! Um, now, I've got the volume turned off on my side, but I'm pretty sure it's going in the recording here. And uh, I love the death scream of these guys. Um, if it's not captured, I'm going to go on ahead and put that in at this point. Uh, the enemy is dead. Dead as a doornail. Oh, poor Marley. Um, okay, great. So, you know what? We're going to do this. And if I am... I've got that potion of healing. Let's get those two hit points back. We're going to want those, I think. And let's go ahead and switch over to the elf. And he is slow as molasses. So, I'm going to call him James May. Um, James enters the room, finally. And I happen to know this. There is a secret door here. If you don't remember to search for secret doors, you will never get out of this game. Um, now, the great thing about HeroQuest the video game and HeroQuest the board game, they actually use the same adventures. Um, so if you know your way around the board game, you know your way around the, the video game. And the only, So the only reason you'd ever play the video game is if you didn't have friends to play the board game. Or you didn't have a board game. 
Um, it was actually kind of a cool um, set. It was uh, Dungeons and Dragons. You had figures um, and adventures. You'd have your uh, dungeon master. And, oh, shoot. Uh, he is blocking the doorway, so let's go on ahead. Also, I have no secret door here, too. Oh, no. Guess not. Correct. Okay. And, yeah, it's, uh, used to while away the hours uh, in college, drinking and, uh, playing Hero Quest with, uh, some folks. Let's see. Hey, we find a uh, purple bottle. It is a potion of strength. Most excellent. Yes. Oh, we gotta end the turn here. Uh, there we go. So, let's see what we can do. Three. God, my guys. Sponge is just not moving very fast today. Potion of speed. <laughs> Boy, I don't know which one of us is going to need that more. Sponge or James May? Alright, James. Way to go! Okay. Uh, two moves left. So, let's just... Uh, God, there really isn't... Okay. There, I was confident there was a door there, but I guess not. Okay, there we go. Through that door, Sponge. Through the door. It's... Yeah, gotta admit. Super ominous looking guy just staring at us. Actually, I'm gonna cheat here because I do know. Yeah, now I know where the door is, so we'll just... Haha. <laughs> we are prepared to go through the door on his next turn. Which means, hopefully, Sponge can, or uh, James May can get in there. Yep. Yay. Go, James, go. And there we go. We will line him up in the appropriate order. Let's go on ahead and search for some treasure. Ooh, we found a vial of holy water. Excellent. And let's go on ahead. Now, this should. Oh, it's about. Bloody time that you're moving, Sponge. So, yeah, uh, back to my storytelling about the Commodore 64. Uh, very first computer, my parents bought it for me after uh, they discovered that I had a talent for computers. And uh, I actually had the Commodore 64 magazine, which used to come with uh, the basic code for video games and everything. And you would sit there and you'd type in hundreds of lines of at C basic and then you'd get a river rafting game or something but uh, they'd also tell you all about how the Commodore worked inside and that all of the graphics were actually hard coded onto a chip inside the computer and you were to uh, if you swap things around you could uh, change the games and stuff and so I, that's what I used to do. I would play around and I figured out how to change the riverboat into a spaceship, how to change the color from water, or blue water to uh, black space. So instead of a river rafting game, I would have a, uh... oh, die orc. Haha. -ha. You will not survive today. And so. Uh, it was uh, truly my geeky time growing up. I mean, it was the early 80s. Oh, look, you can see my trackpad is uh, running low on batteries. And unfortunately, I can't really get rid of that until... Yep, Sponge is going to take that 100 because... You've escaped the quest intact. Well done! Okay. So, look at that. Excellent. Good. We'll get him out of there as well. So, once again, I know this first maze very, very well. 
he finishes. And go there. All the players are out. Yep. Awesome. Just a second here. Let's get rid of that. That's kind of annoying. There we go. That gives me back the mouse. Haha. -ha. So let's go to the shop and see what we can buy. Barbarian, he has got a hundred. Which does not give him enough to get the staff. Um, well, the short sword, which I thought he had. Which is kind of a bummer. Uh, what about the elf here? Oh, no. What the hell? The wizard. No gold there. What about the dwarf? No gold. Okay, nobody else got gold. Excellent. So, we, uh... There it is. Excellent. Uh, the other good thing about the uh, Amiga version over the Commodore 64 version is you can use, uh, while running in an emulator, a trackpad, mouse, keyboard, all of that fun stuff. So, really great. Uh, let's stick with fire. We will uh, go rescue of Sir Ragnar. <laughs> let's read the plot of our adventure here. Sir Ragnar, one of the Emperor's most powerful knights, has been kidnapped. He is being held, or hello, prisoner by Ulaik, the Orc Warlord. You are to find Sir Ragnar and bring him back to safety. Prince Magnus will pay 200 gold coins to the character who rescues Sir Ragnar. No reward will be paid if Sir Ragnar is killed whilst escaping. So, yeah, it's an escort mission, and we all know how wonderful escort missions are. Let's face it. They're every video game player's favorite, aren't they? So let's go back in. Let's see who we have. Excuse me, I've got a, once again, a little bit of a sickness, so I'm keeping fluids in me. Ah, yes, the load screen. So, honestly, the PlayStation 1 wasn't the king of the load screen. It existed long before. Ah, there we go. Ah, yes. Okay, six. Come on, sponge. Through that door. I don't know. I really... Oh, God! That's not what I wanted. Okay. So I can move one more. Let's see here. Can I attack? I don't know if I can attack on the diagonal. Okay. So, out of range for that weapon. Excellent. Uh, that's not... Well, he's got full health. To hell with it. Five. Uh, well, that's... At least going to get him in the room. Hopefully, uh... They will split up and, uh... Fight me separately. So, we've got an orc and a goblin. Ooh, God. Another one. But yet, I did survive that attack. Okay, so. Oh, well defended, Sponge. Sir Sponge, from now on. Of course, now I get the 12 when I don't actually want to move. Ah, sponge, you worthless. You worthless, worthless character. So, let's attack that orc. Aha! Death to you, orc! Filthy slime. The enemy is dead. He's dead, Jim. But there's no Jim here. Actually, there is. James May. I forgot. We do have a Jim. Oh, that goblin is just liquefied. Or whatever it is. Just a second. Picking your nose. Picking your nose. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Ah. Got a cave bat. Okay. Hopefully, I don't have any cave bats so you can hear me sniffling. Okay, let's go on ahead. Ooh. There we are. Aha. Six. So. Excellent. 
there's absolutely positively no chance James May's gonna get further, but I'm still gonna leave myself away from that door. Because let's search for doors. Okay, did not find anything. Excellent. Wow. Captain Slow is doing pretty damn well on his own here. Okay, let's get through that door. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go through. There we are. Boy, I'm leading with the well-injured character there. Uh, let's search for treasure. And I lost a body point. I was hit by a crossbow trap. Damn it. God, James, you're gonna die. Uh, okay. That's, uh, three. That's no damn good. Okay, come on. Through the door. And one more. Okay. Fine. You search for treasure. And I missed my next go. So, it should theoretically play out that I have lost a turn because, once again, you are trying to play against your friends, uh, who would normally be sitting right there to my left, as those of you who know the introduction to the Gaming with Dad show. Um, once again, not here, so, what the hell? I am uh, playing with myself. Hand check. Uh, okay, we are. Come on, James. There we go. Careful, careful. Let's uh, search for a door. Okay, we need to uncover anything. Next turn. Four. He might. Yep, see, he did lose his turn. Doesn't get to move. Not really sure James May wants to move here, but you know, we are. What's going to happen? Uh, Ball of Flame. York. Unharmed? Oh. Heinous. Okay. Time to... Ow! I've got a bad idea. James May is not going to survive. He wandered off on his own. And now will pay the price. We should be able to get all the way there. Search for treasure. Twenty-five shiny gold coins. Excellent. Sponge is happy. Okay, so we got ourselves. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack the orc. Ho oh, ho! Yes, you have survived, James. I'm not sure how that happened. Thank goodness. The enemy is dead. Okay, so can we? Yeah, let's just go on ahead and leave James there. And we'll let uh, Sponge go. I happen to know that there's a guy over here. He's on the map. Come on, Sponge. Oh, quite dead. Quite dead. Well felled, Sir Sponge. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, 
three. But I honestly want to search the room for treasure. And James May is dead. I don't think he has a potion. Uh, let's see here. Nope. I've got nothing I can do to save him. So he should disappear in a pile of ashes. Possibly. I don't know. We will see. Uh, left or right? Correct or the links? Links. Excellent. Sponge, just leave him behind. Go! Okay, that's not good. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. No, sir. No, sir. Don't like it. Not one bit. Not one bit. And they're just going to stay, stare at each other there. It's a staring contest. Excellent. Let's see here. No body points, or at least he shouldn't have any. I'm not sure how he's alive, but he is. I don't think he can actually go up there, can he? Oh, no, he can. There we go. And... You know what? We are just going to... And they close in. That's... So, oh, Sir Sponge, you have uh, survived the attack, at least. And this is why... Okay, good. Ah, uh, staring contest. Excellent. Uh, gotta love that. It's not like I'm actually going anywhere. But we will attack. And let's see if we can... Yeah. Well, okay, good. Quite dead. Take the one out. He can't uh, fight us anymore. So it's back to a one-on-one -on -one battle. Which is good. I will not have... Uh, James May, join the fray there. Uh, he's just going to stand still. Because he, theoretically, I, he has no body... Oh, God. Not again. He has no body points, so I'm not sure how he's walking. He's a, a zombie. He's a, he's a walker. Ten. So, let's go ahead and we will fight just once. once. Oh, excellent. The dead. Ah! Okay, we're going to move there. Block off progress and at least let Jim enter the room. Uh, maybe he can cast a spell. Fire of Wrath? Sure, why not? I... Well, that did nothing. Excellent. Well, that's... Sponge has taken yet another blow to the body. Uh, things are not looking well for my adventurers, are they? And we are no closer to finding Sir Ray. Oh, okay, he's quite dead. Thank God. So, let's, uh... Why not? Let's... I got six... I can move. Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, let's go there. And hope, to all hopes, that dead James May can. Oh! <laughs> Excellent, James. Well played for a dead guy with no body points. Uh, once again, still not sure how that's working out in my favor, but I will take that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Five. Move up there. We shall go through the door. We will... Ah, uh, regret that immensely. I have 
two loops. Let's one, two. <sighs> See if they can take one of these orcs out. They actually have more attack dice, but no, it's just a staring contest. Um, this this is gonna get ugly, I think. Five. Okay, let's let's see what we can do here, guys. Okay, James. Take out the goblin. Yep, quite dead. Thankfully. Things are doing well. He turned to ashy fire like so many Avengers after the snap. <laughs> Sorry, too soon. Spoilers. Unfortunately, I think he's dead here. Yeah, he is... If he wasn't dead before, he is now. You have, <laughs> you have sustained fatal injuries. You have failed in this quest. Until next time. Yep, yeah, okay. Until next time. Let's... Oh! Sponge is still at it. He has defended mightily. Don't bring that weak sauce into my house. Okay, ten. But we are going to first attack the orc and he's dead he's dead Jim but so are you that's highly unfortunate I guess and let's see here what can I excuse me just gonna walk around you there and uh, go through this door hopefully you won't chase me and uh, we're gonna call it quits here okay excellent that uh, goblin's oh god, the goblin's gonna take me for a point too. That's not what I. I, I, I know I survived. Right. God, another good move. But let's go ahead. Let's uh, smear that goblin across the floor because that's what Sponge does. <clears throat> Excellent. Enemy's dead. Take that, you evil bastard wizard. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can... If I can map here. And my treasure chest. Yes. Um, do I get to search the tre treasure chest? Okay. Treasure. Okay. Which, of which I have none. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll uh, end that. There we go. There it is. And now we shall search for treasure. The treasure chest contains a potion of healing and 50 gold. Oh, just what I needed! Excellent. No potion taken. Yes, there is. Ah, yes. Potion of healing. Excellent. Sponge, it is time to do your best. Which also includes just... We'll just leave him alone. Excellent. Don't mind me just walking through. Ah, I'm almost there. Ah, okay. Good, good. Are we good? We're, uh, gonna end my turn. Thank you for not following me. Nine. Oh. Oh, God, these things are horrible. Okay, so let's try to sneak up behind them. Uh, Fenner, I believe. Let's see how my memory is. Firmer. Yes. Yep. A blow on a block. That uh, sounds like something you can get on Happen Avenue for about 75 bucks. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go to hell. The firmer uh, is doing damage. That's... Oh, God. Went once again, the noise that you might make for 75 bucks down on Happen Avenue in Minneapolis. Um, good 
to try attacking him again, I think. I think he's got three body points, but he keeps on defending him, so that's unfortunate. I wonder if I can just uh, see here. No. Clearly, there is a secret door somewhere. Which, unfortunately, I think means I'm going to have to kill this guy. So let's put ourselves back into position behind him. Not like that actually matters. And uh, there goes another point off from Sponge. But he's he's absorbing it. He's uh, doing pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Five. I don't care about five. What I want to do is beat him with my bare fist. And they're just going to stare at each other. Excellent. Okay, come on. Okay, it's a blow on a block. Again. Oh, finally! A point of damage. Yes. And it is enough to kill him. Cut side down. Okay. Gonna hit we'll end that turn there. Get a five. Search for doors. Awesome. Once again, you always have to remember to search for secret doors because there you have found Sir Ragnar. Alarm has alerted all of the guards. You must guide Sir Ragnar to safety. Well, that's gonna be bloody fucking difficult. Okay, so Ragnar, four. Joy. Okay, so, well, oh, well, start with a four. Let's, we have two body points, or, no, four body points. And, oh, I've got one more. So let's block that doorway, because we do not want Sir Ragnar going through. And... There is no chance of that. You know, I just noticed he has got the equivalence of one six-sided dice versus my two. So, see, you can see here every once in a while I see an 11 or an 8 or a 10 or something. Okay, see, there's a 9. Clearly more than 6. Okay, let's go in there. Three, four, five. yep, okay. Six. Excellent. That's the best I could have hoped for. Let's get Sir Ragnar out of this place. I want that 200 gold. Yes, sir, I do. Come on, Sponge. Do it for James. Do it for James. Come on. Where am I going again? Long way. Okay. So that's right. Go down there. Go there. If I recall, we have to get him back to the staircase. I'm kind of hoping that's the case because that's where I'm going. I mean, we've left him in the dust. There is no chance he is coming back to find us, but. Not at that speed. Okay. Inch your way. An 11. I'm not moving though. Oh, thank God. So, what if I just click right there? Okay, good. He does actually go through the door. There. And. Okay. We're doing this. We got this. And just, uh. Post there. Good, another six. <sighs> Just kind of looking at this, uh, I'm going to assume it's supposed to be a candle, but it looks like a big pile of spooge with faces in it. It's apparently it's the dirty old man from the 
into the street from uh, Family Guy. There he is! The paper boy! Uh, you know what? That's gonna be far enough. Let's see what we can muster here. Five. Excellent! Oh, come on, Sir Ragnar. Okay, you're not gonna. You're just gonna frustrate the hell out of me, aren't you? Switch the position. Three? Okay. Come on, Sponge. Lead. Get your man out of here. At least I'm hoping this is where we're supposed to go. If it's not, I'm going to be pissed. Because Sir Ragnar moves very slowly. I wonder if this is one of the first escort missions in uh, computer games. Not sure. I mean, 91. What else would there have been? Super Nintendo would have first come out. Uh, definitely well before Yoshi's Island. Excellent. There we go. Get in that room. Yeah, I can't believe I never actually searched for... Oh, it's a potion of healing. I desperately have needed that, but we'll, uh, we'll save that to see if this is actually where I'm supposed to go. Uh, God, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know if, what else would have been out. I mean, the original Wolfenstein, but that you were just escaping the... Uh, the dungeon, or really the castle. Um, come on, go in the door. Yeah, I know this is thrilling gameplay, isn't it? Just amazed by uh, how many sides that coin has. Um, nineteen ninety-one. What was I doing? Well, that's drinking and living it up at uh, Concordia College, Moorhead, Minnesota. That is, uh, at least in the fall, I was. We, uh, let's see here. Oh, of course, all my good spins come in. I at least need them. Let's see here. Okay, so we have uh yeah. No, it's Okay. You have escaped the quest intact. Well done. Excellent. And that didn't uh, screw me out of my two hundred gold. They're just gonna be difficult here and now now the now those guards that were alerted are going to show up. God, one. There we go. The Emperor bestows 200 gold coins on the savior of Sir Ragnar. Okay? Okay. All the players are out. That is not true. James May is never returning. He died. Um, so, Hero Quest. We've completed the first two missions. Uh, we shall go shopping here. Because... The Barbarian has gold, and a lot of it. 405. I am going to go with the Battle Axe, because that is pretty damn awesome. And let's exit. So, next time on the Gaming with Dad show. Bye now.